in languages. So. Ladies and gentlemen, you're all very welcome to the latest in a, in a long line of Anton Art Centre's off-site uh, uh, associations for this strange year that we find ourselves in. Tonight we're in uh, a space on Clanbassel Street, but I'll let one of the artists talk about that in a second. We're here to mark the opening of Silver by the Bridge Street Studio Artists, which uh, remarkably celebrates their 25 years since they were uh, founded. We have a few people to talk to tonight, so let's start with where the inspiration for the exhibition came from, which is a poem by Barbara Smith, and Barbara's going to join me now. Barbara, if you'd like to come over to me, and Barbara's going to recite her poem. So, Barbara. Thank you. Silver, for the artists at Bridge Street on their anniversary. The slow silver heartbreak of another day, tarnished reflections in the grey. Gossamer webs of autumn spun across branches of our lives, reflect motes that gather urgent hints at hidden things, entwining strings which disappear in, the, in an unexpected gleaming, revealing new silver dewdrops steaming as the sun reveals the tendrils of morning, a new day. Thank you so much, Barbara. Thank you for that. Thank you for everybody in the background. Joanne, if I can ask you um, to come in. Joanne, you are one of the founding members of Bridge Street. I am, yeah. Can you tell me where, uh, I know we're 25 years old, can you tell me where it all came from? So, um, in 1995, I suppose it is now, um, we, myself and Francis Lamb, Declan Honan and Catherine Sinnott would have been working in our own you know, spaces at home or in bedrooms and sheds and what have you. But we were using St Vincent's Kiln, uh, where Declan worked at the time, to fire our work. And as we um, developed our work and wanted to exhibit and uh, more and more, we realised that we each needed a space that was more dedicated to our practice, uh, close to the kiln. It's, it's not um, practical to be making ceramics and then trying to transport them to, to a kiln. So. We looked uh, near and far and all around town to see if we could find something suitable. Obviously, um, traditionally speaking, uh, artists are always looking for somewhere that's off the beaten track and with very low rent. So um, we eventually were successful with Mary Farley and she had the space in Bridge Street um, and we took the very top floor at that time. And um, this space actually reminds me a little bit the fact that it is um, you know, transformed by the energy of the artists into a workable space. That's what we had to do at the time to, um, to you know, get all the things that you need for a for a working space. So from everything from cleaning the thousand year old cobwebs out of the building to accessing grants, um, and the big thing would have been to get three phase electricity into the space for the kiln, um, and we got a grant um, from the Arts Council at the time to allow us buy a kiln and then through goodwill of friends and family um, and hired a teleporter to get that kiln through the green store windows uh, into the building. So all of that was a feat of ingenuity <laughs> before we actually opened a bag of clay. So um, I'm delighted to say from, from then until now, uh, artists have used that space and have made many, you know, many wonderful works and exhibitions have come from it. And I'm very proud to um, have been, you know, the, the start of that, but that the generations of people have gone through the space, um, you know, and to, to today. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Keelan. <laughs> Keelan, would just like to join me here. Keelan, can you tell me a little bit about, we're obviously not in the basement gallery this evening. You tell me a little bit about where we are and why we're not in a gallery and where, yeah, the whole, the whole where are we now question. Well, I suppose we've been planning this exhibition for a long time, over a year in the making, because it's our 25th anniversary and we really wanted to do it justice and we wanted our founding members back, so we were getting excited and delighted to be in Anton for it. And then this pandemic hit. So I suppose um, we didn't want to put it away. We didn't want to postpone. We didn't want the hard work that everybody's put in, not just present members, but our past members as well. We didn't want that to go hidden. So we decided to shake the streets. <laughs> so again, calling on goodwill, Joanne mentioned calling on the goodwill of um, neighbours and 
colleagues and families and friends, we went out on the beg and along with yourself, of course, and um, bids helping us to find vacant properties. So tonight we're in Comsky's empty shop, which I'm sure a lot of people from the time will remember as a bustling, busy shop. And it's again now tonight full of art, which is brilliant. But we're not just in Comsky's, we're also um, up on Jocelyn Street, almost near the um, museum there. I don't, what's the number? I don't know. It used to be the academy, so we're, we're in there. Then we're also up, just up the street, another hundred yards in what was the first XXI ice cream parlour. And we're also in the old Extra Vision, which is round at the back of Boyd's Car Park. So um, we've been quite ingenious with our, um, building our own we mini galleries everywhere. But um, as I say, we didn't want to get beaten by COVID and we haven't been and we've pulled it all together and I hope everyone gets to have a walk around town and enjoy it all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sarah, I might ask you to come join me. I think uh, also I heard in the background that you are also in Tommy the Bikes. Um, and as someone who's not a native of Dundalk, uh, all of the spaces that they are referring to are no longer called the names that they're referring to them as. So it's, that's why we've made a very handy map which is available um, on Anton Art Centre. Uh, it's a Google map, so you can follow it on your phone. It'll bring you exactly to where you're looking for. So if you are like me, um, you won't uh, get lost as you go around. So I'm going to bring in Sarah now. And Sarah, maybe you might tell us about the artists involved and some of the work. Um, thanks very much, Paul. Uh, so there's 11 artists involved. So as uh, it was said already, um, we have Francis Lamb, and Declan Hunnam and Joanne McKenna, who were founder members of the studio. And it was really nice to be able to invite them back. And important because that was the beginning for, for the foundations of what, everything that we were able to do now. And then we also have eight members of the studio um, who all have looked at the poem in very unique ways. So we started with Barbara's poem and, every, and I suppose as well because we were such a different year, everybody was very much working in, uh, in isolation, whereas usually we're bouncing off each other in, in the building. And it's amazing how differently it, it's come up for everybody. And so you can see initially when we talked about silver, we thought like, oh, is everything going to be silver coloured? But you can see there's actually an awful lot of very bright colours and, and a lot of gold has appeared. Um, and I suppose that's kind of like the alchemy of, um, you know, putting putting words into your head and the visuals that go with that. <laughs> um, so, uh, they, and uh, we were saying there is a map, so we would hope that people, there is a lot of people out walking around town um, at the moment and so we we're hoping that people would take the self-guided tour so there's a map that's on on Thorne's website but also we have a downloadable map on the British Street Studios website so it's British, BritishStreetStudios.com so you can print that out and, and take the walk um, and you'll see in the windows um, we have information about the artwork and we have information about where to go to the next uh, the next gallery and we also um, have there's a QR code and Oral is going to tell you about that in a moment <laughs> okay, oh, thank you very much. I might, I might bring Orla in just because uh, Sarah was going to say the one thing you were going to talk about there. Uh, you may have noticed a flushing sound in the background. That's the joys of off-site uh, art. So I don't know. So let's presume I'm a person walking along the street okay. and I don't know much about art. I definitely don't know what a QR code is. Okay. What is a QR code and how do I go about purchasing this art as a Christmas gift for my loved ones? All right then. Okay. So... QR code, and everybody will have seen them in various places if you don't know what it is. It's one of these little square, I don't want to actually, your phone will connect if I can find it. It's one of these little square kind of jiggy digital print things. Um, you see them in a lot of places. And basically what they'll do is when you point your phone camera at this, and once it focuses in on it, it'll automatically pop, you'll get a message saying, uh, go to Bridge Street Studios on Safari or whatever your general browser on your phone is so um and you can just it'll just take you straight to our website straight to the silver page on our website so you go straight to the exhibition page where you'll find out a whole lot more about um everything we've talked about tonight about the art and you'll also be able to see all the artworks for sale and buy them directly from there as well so these posters are actually and there's also another map on the on the website too so you can just kind of go straight to that so these posters are at actually all the venues um, and it's a handy wee map so it's kind of uh, 
I know you went through them there earlier, but for the addresses, this is 42 Clambrassa Street here. There's 35 Clambrassa Street, a couple of doors down. There's three Jocelyn Street, 11 Earl Street, and the exchange building on the Long Walk. So those are the five venues. They're all marked clearly on the map and on the map on the website. So um, you can take a little walking tour. And I know I met a few people today when I was actually putting some work up in the bike shop on Earl Street, and they were coming along looking at it, and they were saying, oh, we're going for a little walking tour, and we'll do that. So really, really simple to Super. Thank you so much, that. Orla. Okay. Thank you. Is that everything you need? Yep, for that's me? everything. Um, thank you. So uh, we might wrap up um, a couple of things before we do. Um, you want to pan around and see yeah, the roof? Just, oh yeah. Um, just so people see, might have some memories. No, no, no we'll just leave it on me because we have the nice thing in the background. Uh, thank you. Um, but uh, just a couple of things before we finish. Um, I do like the fact they said Orla would be the uh, would tell us the technological stuff and then describe the QR code as a wiggledy piggledy thing but um, that's fine if that's that's what it that's is the actual term but um it's fantastic to see bridge street uh, artists manage to uh, get this exhibition up and running in a time of uh, a real challenging time i know that the guys from talking to them it, it's really tough to try to to go outside of a gallery and go into these spaces however the plus side of it and this, the thing that we've seen it on tone since we got out in the streets nine months ago and doing works in, in unusual places, is the amount of people that you reach that you wouldn't reach if you were in a gallery. I already saw it when I was doing a film about this earlier, the amount of people seeing, seeing the work uh, who wouldn't perhaps come inside a gallery. So that's, that's wonderful to see. It's also wonderful to have a studio like Bridge Street for 25 years here in, in Dundalk. As the director of the Art Centre, since, since it was established six and a half years ago, we've worked together on numerous occasions, both um, as a group and also as individual artists who've been uh, working on things in the Art Centre. So it's, it's wonderful that they're, they're continuing to go, and I look forward to the 50th year anniversary. <laughs> um, so for now, we're going to sign off. Um, you can go to Anton Art Centre website. We've just put up a video, which is just a quick walking tour of all of the sites now. It just, it's just to encourage you to get out on the street and see the works live. It's not to say that you've seen them if you just sit in your couch. You come out and see them and um, follow the QR code and maybe purchase a piece for someone this Christmas, support uh, local art. So thank you and have a nice evening. Bye-bye.